Welcome to the No Mongol Podcast, a weekly show about all things skateboarding. My name is Rick Baden. Hope you got like all of your Christmas shopping done by now. Just hopefully. I mean, or you're like me and you have just like a couple things to pick up, you know. And for that, I just say, we've got this. I'm going to head out probably a little bit later today. And uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully, I mean, like I said, we, we got this. We'll, we'll make it on time. So don't stress. You can follow along on social media at Rick Beta, R I C K B A T A, or email the show, no mongo podcast at gmail.com. Wanted to give a quick shout out to 2023's Thrasher Magazine Skater of the Year. Woo! Miles Silvis. Yeah, Bay Area represent. You know, I have a couple, or or I should say more than a couple thoughts on that decision, but I'm gonna chime in on that a little bit a little bit later. Chime in more of that later, okay? So hold tight. But first, speaking of celebrating. I mean, usually if you think of celebrating, you think of what things like dancing, right? And and, and no, this is this isn't a show about dancing. We know this, right? You know, but, but actually that could change pretty soon. Now I think about it. I might even change up the entire show after what weekend and New Balance, you know, just provided us, what they did for us. Did you guys see that? The weekend skateboards and New Balance, uh, they did a collab and they also did a video slash commercial this last week this week i should say and there has never and i say never been a more perfectly targeted uh, i say commercial ad directed right at me before you know until this one came into my life i mean it's as if the creative minds behind that were just speaking directly to me looking at me in the eye uh, just deadpan as if they already knew. They already knew about my, they know about my dancing struggles. You know, and I've talked about this before, but I'll do a quick recap, maybe for those who are new to the show and haven't, you know, circled back to the older episodes. Back before my wife and I tied the knot, she had this grand plan of getting me dance lessons. <laughs> you see? Yeah, and those who know me well know this is a hilarious thing to even consider, right? It's hilarious. You know, I knew it. My feet knew it. I mean, there's no way in hell that you, I'm talking about dancing instructor, can show me the way how to get down on the dance floor. I just don't have what it takes. It's not in me. Like, period. And I'm fine with that. Don't get me wrong. I'm totally fine with that. So one day, like before, you know, we considered finding a place to go for, for lessons, you know, she and my wife decided, you know what? It was in the living room. So let's, let's give it a shot. Come in the living room. Gave a little shot, you know, and I said, I keep in mind, I gave it my all. This was like, you know, because we'd gone on like, you know, dates before. We never really got and dance like before we were married. But, you know, I, I gave it my all. I gave it my best. And she knows we'd been to weddings before. I mean, it wasn't even four minutes later. And she was like, well, that saved us some money for dance lessons. Yeah. Don't need to do that. It's hopeless. I don't think she used those words. Maybe she she thought them at the time. She definitely was thinking, she thought, oh, gosh, am I going to marry this dude? can't dance he's got two left feet and he's a skater that's how you know how bad i've got okay which brings me to grant and sura and the weekend crew okay now had this commercial been around in 2006 i would have been freaking john travolta out there on the dance floor i would have been a hit gone viral a skate john travolta however you know but this weekend, New Balance commercial, freaking genius, genius, brilliant. In fact, you know what? <clears throat> this is a standing ovation. I'm standing up right now in my garage. It's a little cold. I'm standing up. Well deserved. Standing ovation for this one. And the award for best male performer goes to eh, wrong. There is no best performer because they're all like killed it. They were all amazing. Even the ladies in there. It's amazing. See all the peeps in the background? And uh Jordan, you know, he did kind of stand out though. I mean, he's obviously the main character, but a lot of people forget that he's acting in these skits and videos. Keep that in mind when you watch it. You know, he's like, has Jordan, ha, ha he's funny, but 
pay attention to his acting, like legit, like look at it, focus on it, like notice it. He's such a natural, and I know I've said this before, but he needs to be on the big screen, actually. Yeah, you know what, Jason Lee, you better look over your shoulders, man. JT is coming for you. Yeah, he's coming for you. You guys see uh, Grant's uh, stories if you follow him. He pointed out a bunch of the uh, you know the extras in the background. He showed uh, you know posted pics, tagged them. That was so cool. And, and some s- familiar names in there too. But I was surprised. Like Chad Tim Tim made an appearance. Yeah. See if you can spot him in when his with his groovy moves. Dude's got like I wrote down. Dude's got he's got he's got the shoulders of a dancer. Is what I wrote down. Does that even make sense? But I wrote it down. Is that dance uh, uh, talk? He's got the shoulders of a dancer. But he was amazing. Go, Tim Tim. Go, Tim Tim. It's your birthday. Uh 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 uh. Like, he'd get down. But yeah, that was cool. If you follow Grant, he definitely provided some insight. And you got to rewatch it again. Oh, yeah. Gotta love the use of the sa- of like the whip sound effect. That was pretty cool. It's all in the details, baby. The details. Yeah, actually, no, I think about it. That probably wasn't even a sound effect, though, right? I mean, that was all Jordan. Whoopsh. That was all good, man. Oh, and how about this? The timing of him flipping up, I mean, his, what are they, Oakley style shades at 11 seconds. I don't know why that just stood out to me because it's, it was right after he spun around 180. Not before, not seconds after. It was like whew, the moment he stopped spinning around, he flipped those up. You think that was first try? I think so. We're talking about a professional here. But actually, why is he wearing shades to begin with, though? Is there some backstory there? I mean, it's a nightclub, most likely at night. And I think it just says a lot about his personality. You know, he's like, no, i got to have the shades, you know? And, oh, <laughs> I'm glad I wrote this down. How about his drop down, like a second later? I mean, is that what you call it, like the drop down? Like I said, I'm not a dancer, so be gentle with me. But, but was that really Jordan dropping down and getting low like that? Jordy got low, 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 low. Doo, 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 doo. Jordy got low. I kept rewinding it though, because I mean, think about it. I don't think they would, you know, take the time to get a dance double in there. He's like, "Nah, I've got this. Just focus on my legs. I got this." Got to add a sound effect for that one too. Whew. That's got to be Jordan, right? Which is so good. And then we heard the words that everyone attempting to. Either enjoy a party or a wedding, or, you know, or just, just chilling or relaxing, right? Minding their own business, and you got your friends and homies or relatives. Tom, come dance. Oh gosh, I mean those dreaded words, right? <laughs> what What's worse than is what you get dragged onto the dance floor, right? I mean that's that's actually the worst. You hear those words, it's pretty bad, but the worst is getting dragged on the dance floor. And of course, it's never for a slow jam, never. Of course not. Oh, no. no! Now I have to do the same old two-step with a little twist until the song ends. And hopefully the song's less than like three minutes, 30 seconds, because that's, that's max, man. And he's, don't, don't drag me out of a song longer than that. It's unacceptable. So I can so relate to Tom's uh, response. He's like, I can't dance. And that's, you know, that was Tom, a.k.a. me at every wedding. Guy, come on. Guy's response as well. We don't dance. He looked at Tom and said, we, look, we don't dance. How many, t- how many hundreds of times I've said that in my life? They're like, no, Ricky, do. No, I actually don't. I don't dance. I'm not going to lie to you. And now most of the time, this seems to work, right? Now, unless you're as determined as Jordan was in this one. Jordan, there's, Jordan he wasn't taking no for an answer. He was going to find a way. Actually, can we give some props to the fit that he was wearing too? The shirt, I mean, it was tucked in, of course. you got to have that, that style shirt tucked in. The cow print belt. Fit was, the fit game was on point. And then we got to see and hear how determined he was to get them on the dance floor. You know, It all started with two words. Because he was, he was watching. He was reading lips. He's like, oh, wait a minute. Frontside flip. Those two words changed everyone's lives from then on. Mine included. I mean, it was at this. It was at this moment. I mean, I knew we were in for a ride, for a good ride. 
I, I really didn't know what to expect. I mean, I thought, honestly, I thought the dude was just going to be like some crazy, like they were doing a, a take on like a beautiful mind, you know, crazy smart type of skate brain. But little did I know, you know, that I just mentioned that my life would be forever changed from this moment. That's right. I'm, I'm a changed man now. I almost shed a tear saying that. Did you hear it in my voice? Once he started calling out, you know, other tricks, and then the two were almost, they were almost kind of hypnotized into, into learning how to dance. Did you notice that? I knew my days using the whole, I can't dance, were over. It's over now. I mean, if you're a skater, and you say you can't dance from this day on, you're screwed. You're lying. I mean, we're all screwed. We can't use that excuse anymore. We're all technically lying at that point. Because we can. They just showed us right there. It's right there for us to see, to learn. Think about how much money we're going to all be saving, you know, paying expensive dance lessons, going, what, three, four nights a week, you know, from, what, 7 to 9 p.m. after your long day at work, trying to prep for a podcast, you know. It's no longer needed. My wife is going to be stoked when she sees me out on the dance floor one day. And all along, all we needed to do was just use our hands. I'm talking to all of us out there. Guys, fellow, fellow peeps that can't dance, ladies included. You're included. If, you can't, if you're a woman you can't dance, you're even better. Look at that. I had it wrong all along. I just kept thinking dancing was via my feet. I had it all wrong. It's for decades. Now I just need to simulate, you know, frontside flip with my hands. Nose blunt, nollie 180, crook, half cab flip, pupeki grind, impossible, hold it, 180, boom. We're going to be stealing the dance floor in 2024 and beyond. Move over, grandma, boom, yeah, you're, you're, you're not getting an elbow, you're getting the shoulder, boom. Daddy's got a brand new bag. Move the hell out of the way. DJ, no, no, no. Stop playing that nonsense. You're going to play this from now on. But with this newfound confidence comes a little bit of anger, a little bit of frustration. I mean, I actually, I'm kind of pissed about this. I mean, now that, what, as of this recording, 11,000 people, 11,000 of us know what it is, know what's up, know how to dance. I guess the one good thing is that all of my non-skater friends don't listen to the show, so they're not going to be aware of this New Balance and uh, Weekend collaboration. And and most of them are married already. You know, I, I probably have, I'm just thinking real quick, maybe two, one or two more weddings to go to in my that I know of in the future. Not counting my kids, of course. I'm just saying friends. Only like one or two that might still get married. But that's it. So I'm kind of safe. I think I'm safe, actually. I'm kind of safe. But worst case is I hopefully remember this video. But yeah, I'm still kind of pissed that they did that to us. You know? Why do I feel like I had like a, a dark night of the soul moment? You know? And I, I, sh I should probably just sue them, right? Weekend and NB. You know, I can picture now I'm, I'm kicking down their door. Let them know that I'm suing, but I'm going to be using my Benny Hanna kick slash uh, new dance move. Go Benny Hanna, Benny Hanna, whoosh, kick down the door. I'll even whisper it to you, Jordan, as my lawyer drops the hammer on you. Benny Hanna, now you're being sued. But have you seen this one yet? It, like I said, it was genius. Genius. But I, I got to be on record. I got to be honest. Yeah, actually, I'm going to keep it real with anyone right here who hasn't seen it. If you have two left feet like me and want to continue to use that excuse at weddings and parties, do not watch this video. Don't. Don't. Unless you like lying. You know, got to be honest. You know, I told the truth. Remember those commercials back in the day? I know I'm aging myself. But don't just don't get in a tough situation like we and I just got put in. You know, we've got no excuse now. Thanks for nothing, weekend crew. Thanks. But yeah, that was that was genius. As usual, weekend 
you know, now with New Balance collaboration for this one, it lived up to the hype, man. It's so good. Got to take a double sip of water for this one. Oh, yeah, baby. Wait, do I do it? Although you already know the results. <clears throat> Everyone knows the results. So now back to our 2023 Sodi winner, Miles Silvas. Where to start? I already congratulated him, right? I already congratulated him. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I did it at the top of the hour. Okay, yeah, I did that. I, mean, I just did right now, yeah. So, cool. And I want to be known that I back Miles 100%. And even said that he was sodium material way back on episode 28, which is about four years ago. Proof's there. Can't deny it. I mean, the dude's a beast. I back him. And I even uh, said that, what, most of that last week when his part dropped. Which is keywords, last week. Miles and his team dropped his part last freaking week. His one and only part for the year. Yes, he was in some other things. He had an interview. His one and only part. Did I even talk about Miles this year? Now I think about it. I don't really recall. But he just did the unthinkable. Or maybe maybe it's been done before. But a one and done. Drop something in December. Win skater of the year. Huh? That's crazy. Skater of the year. Not skater of the month. Not skater of the quarter. The whole entire year equals Miles Silvis. Wow. For one part that he dropped on December 8th. Nine days ago. <laughs> what? 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 Nine days. Winner. How is that even possible? A one and done video drop. It's like, thanks for coming. Thanks, Rob. Thanks, Tom. Oh, yeah, Uto. Now it's kind of like the uh, romper room. Pedro, Tony. Thanks for coming, guys. While y'all were busting your ass with multiple sponsor videos and video parts, I was out here making one video to rule them all. Just one. That's nuts, right? And I'm a full day, what? Yeah, is it? Yeah, full day removed from the results. And I don't feel like I'm overreacting either. I'm, I, and honestly, though, I'm not really mad at it. It was just kind of shocking. You know, I just didn't see it coming at all. Did I, did, did I mention his name and the, the acronym last week? I don't think I did. I, I just, it just wasn't a possibility in my mind. But now it is. Now it is. I mean, is this where we are with this damn contest? Is just that that I just can't seem to break up with? Skaters can now wait an entire year, drop one part, parentheses, quality, days before the, you know, the finalists are released, all the numbers, and then the final results are given like very shortly after that, and then win Skater of the Year. I mean, this sounds to me like Thrasher's like shortening that leash a bit. You know, it's kind of like pulling that back in a little bit, reeling that Sodi trophy back in a bit. It was dangling a little too far out there. I mean, it had gotten out of hand, right? For years. I had officially given up on the whole thing two years ago. But as I said, it got sucked right back in. What was it two years ago? I'm not going to talk about Sodi at all. And I did. But all I have to say is, like, Sodi season, quote-unquote, is done. It's done. It's broken. It's over, Johnny. Time to pick a new month or quarter. You know, and I've been pitching this for years. You get, you're like, yeah, I know, Rick. Uh -huh. But no, even more so now. But, if like, if skaters still feel the need to dump a bunch of content, just do Q1. It makes more sense now. It adds more uh, uh, fuel to, to my thought and my fire. And it would be so much more pressure to the skaters for the rest of the year. 
Because they'd be constantly looking over their shoulder. They'd be more entertaining. Y'all can thank me now, Thrasher voters. Imagine that. You get to probably decide your winner in January, February, and see what happens. You wouldn't announce it, but mentally, you're like, yeah, this is the one. I remember when I got excited uh, this early this year when Tiago dropped two parts in, what, two weeks? Remember that? Seems like just yesterday, too. Isn't it crazy? Remember how excited I got, though? I mean, I was just pumped. That he's, he was, it was finally going to happen. Yeah! And that was in January. And then Tiago just straight disappeared for the rest of the year. And some could argue, technically, he should have at least been on a contender's list for this year, Sodi. Dude should have been on that list, right? If you're looking in hindsight now, he probably could have won. He probably could have won. According to the new uh, required requirements update. So, yeah, this tells me that something changed over the last, wait, what, 12 months, you know, in, in the way that they decide the, the winner at the Bible. You know, conversations, they, they went down. Stuff, punches against the wall. Just, it was probably nasty. You know, conversations with Phelps in dreams. People were like, oh, I had this conversation with Phelps in the dream last night. we got to change. Something's got to go down. A meeting of the minds, or minds, as we still don't know how many heads are actually in the final decision-making process and meetings. Something had to change, and it had to be drastic. But I still would love to have been a fly on the wall for you know the, these decisions. Just to, just to hear their process and how they narrow skaters down. It's like, show us something, Thrasher, you know? Give us, a, give us a little peek. Even if it's audio only. I mean, that's what makes this one kind of frustrating for many. It was just sudden pivot. Like, pivot! Pivot! It's like, bam! So again, as I ask everyone deliberately... Gunning for Sodi, just change the months. They, you know, they do their drops. I mean, it doesn't. It, it it doesn't work anymore. Actually, I mean, sure there are. I know there are many factors and videos to to go around, right? I mean, there's only 12 months a year, 365 days a year, and you got to squeeze in all these videos, all this content. So I get that, and they have to be scheduled accordingly. But can we? Please, can we all officially move on from December's uh, chaos involving Skater of the Year? Can we do that? Can we, can we agree upon that in 2024? I don't think we have a choice. But can we, can we agree on that, okay? So there, it's done. No more December dumps. I mean, it's obvious, right? And honestly, it will make you look even more desperate. You can't do it from here on out. You can't. Especially now that we're in the Dare I say it? We're in the we're in the quality over quantity era, you know. But then again, maybe it was his beard. I talked about his beard game last week. Can you imagine how many skaters are going to be rocking like a real, or or even if they have to fake beard next year? Like, dude, how how you grew that beard pretty quick? Last you know, on your IG, you didn't have a beard in the next week, and you clip what? Don't even try coming in here with like five o'clock shadow either. Nope. Nope. You can't come in expected to win with that. You need to rock a full on beard to be even be in the running. If it's fake and it looks good, it's fine. For the ladies too, you know, come on, who cares? But be sure to work on it all year so it's not too obvious, okay? You'll need to get it trimmed. You need to get lined up probably at a barber like a few times to count and make it not look forced. You know, I'm just trying to help you out, you know, in this post, uh, post Sodi season era. It's official. There's no more Sodi seasons. It's going to change things up so much. So, yeah, trend alert 2024. Less parts, right? Because there's going to be putting out less and making them longer and more beards. Have I congratulated Miles yet? I mean, this isn't Miles' fault. It's not his fault. No. I, I want it to be known that I am very happy for him. Very happy. I just, it's, I was just still kind of shocked how it all went down, you know? 
Miles dropped his only part nine days ago. And I'm congratulating him on being Skater of the Year today, which is December 17th. It's insane. Insane. But then again, hearing Drew Domkins' voice in my head, we still don't know how these things are judged. But that, that needs to change. Or it doesn't, right? The people I can hear now, Rick, it's their contest, their choice. But this was a statement year from Thrasher. You know, they all put on a they put on a shirt, put on a tie. Yeah, this Thrasher crew, they're all, yeah, they're all sitting there. And they sat down in the chair, kind of turned, let's see, yeah, turned their right shoulder in. Turned their head, stared. Made sure their, of course, shirts were nicely pressed. And the tie was straight. There we go. They looked us all in the eyes and said, and you got to insert the famous Michael Jordan meme, quote, stop it. Get some help. 